After a nearly 20-year separation, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are over a year into their marriage. Are they in it for the long haul this time, or will the factors that broke them up in the first place win out once again? No matter how you slice it, Jennifer Lopez's reunion with Ben Affleck at the turn of the last decade was a rebound for the actress. Lopez had been dating former New York Yankees third baseman Alex Rodriguez, whom she first linked up with in 2017. The two got engaged in 2019 and seemed stronger than ever at the time. The future is super bright, and I feel like we, we both feel like we're just beginning. However, in March 2021, just a month before J.Lo was seen with Affleck, rumors surfaced that Lopez and A-Rod were over. In a state statement issued to People magazine, the then-couple said they were working on their relationship. However, less than one month later, they officially called off their engagement. In a joint statement, they said, "...we have realized we are better as friends and look forward to remaining so. We will continue to work together and support each other on our shared businesses and projects. We wish the best for each other and one another's children." The ink on the paper had barely dried before the paparazzi caught Lopez and Affleck together. The pair had dated nearly 20 years before, after working together on the film Geely, but their love didn't last. Though they tried to be secretive when they first reunited, sources were on the lookout and their cover was blown. As a source told Page Six about a week after her official separation from A-Rod, Lopez's security could be seen picking the actor up and bringing him to her house. Perhaps Lopez found comfort in the arms of an old flame, but being the backup plan usually doesn't pan out. After the couple tied the knot in 2022, Lopez admitted that she was initially scarred from the first time they were planning on getting hitched. Speaking with Jimmy Kimmel, Lopez recalled how the first time the pair had to plan a wedding, their relationship did not last long enough to see the event come to fruition. This experience caused Lopez some self-diagnosed PTSD, and in turn had her immensely worried about their second attempt at planning a ceremony. The wedding was so stressful, and one day Ben just says, Okay, let's just go to Vegas and get married tonight." Ultimately, the pair did fly to Vegas and elope that night in a very small ceremony. While Lopez seemed pretty thrilled about the results of their decision in her Kimmel interview, a shotgun wedding does seem like a questionable foundation for a stable marriage. It seems as though fans aren't the only ones who are skeptical of Jennifer Lopez's new marriage. Ohani Noah, who was married to Lopez in 1997, isn't too sure that Ben Affleck is his ex's forever person. Speaking with the Daily Mail in 2022, Noah expressed that he was skeptical of their relationship's longevity, saying, "...Ben is husband number four. I was husband number one, and she told me I was the love of her life. When we lay in bed on our wedding night, she said we would be together forever." One could argue that Lopez isn't the same person now that she was in the late 90s, but Noah's comment may still hold weight. He once had an intimate relationship with the triple threat star and seems to have a sense of what she's like. Perhaps he knows something that the rest of us only think we do. Fans will have to keep an eye out for any more comments from Noah if things go south for Benefer 2.0. Some of the rumors surrounding the supposed rift between Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez may be rooted in the public's unfortunate tendency to snap pictures of them at the most inopportune times. There have been a number of instances in which the couple has been spotted having heated discussions in public. According to OK Magazine, they had a tense moment while on the red carpet for the premiere of J. Lo's film The Mother, though a lip reader stated that the footage seemed like less of a fight and more like Lopez was just voicing a concern to her husband. A less-than-flattering video of the pair also went viral, which which featured Affleck slamming a car door after Lopez got in the vehicle. This frustrated behavior suggested to some outlets that Affleck wasn't too thrilled with his current situation. In May 2023, a tourist caught Lopez and Affleck going back and forth while sitting in a car at a red light in Beverly Hills. According to the Daily Mail, Affleck aggressively waved his hands around, having some kind of intense moment with his wife. It's no secret that couples fight, but we can't help but notice just how frequently Lopez and Affleck appear to be at odds in public settings. One thing we've learned about Ben Affleck is that he's not really a red carpets and awards show kind of guy. He seems happiest when he's got an iced coffee from Dunkin' and doing his own thing. This could be why he barely smiles when he's making appearances alongside Jennifer Lopez. For example, Affleck didn't look particularly happy to be at her side at the Grammys in February 2023. Photos of the Goodwill hunting star sitting with a scowl on his face quickly went viral, and lip readers all over the globe were giving insight into what words he and Lopez exchanged. However, Lopez didn't let 
let the negativity and the rumors dampen her love bubble. The starlet took to social media a few days later to promote Affleck's new film Air and decided to poke some fun at his sour expression. In a snide Instagram post, she posted a still of Affleck appearing grumpy in the movie, sarcastically calling the look his happy face in the caption. Meanwhile, in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter a few weeks later, Affleck explained why he looked so unhappy at the Grammys. He explained that while they were posing for one of the cameras, he noticed host Trevor Noah approaching. Affleck recalled, "...they were framing us in this shot, but I didn't know they were rolling. I leaned into her, and I was like, as soon as they start rolling, I'm going to slide away from you and leave you sitting next to Trevor." She goes, "...you better f not leave." Lopez and Affleck have blended their families, but it's clear that their kids have them running in different directions. Lopez is a mom to twins Max and Emmy, whom she had with Mark Anthony in 2008. Affleck, on the other hand, shares Violet, Serafina, and Samuel with his ex, Jennifer Garner. During an interview with Today in 2023, Lopez opened up about all of them moving in together. We moved in together, the kids moved in together, it's, so it's been like a really emotional transition. Well, she elaborated that blending their families families has been a largely positive experience, coming together to make a large family can certainly come with its fair share of problems. Making sure that the kids are where they need to be and are all getting the attention they deserve can certainly be a trick, and would likely add stress on any marriage. The fact that both Lopez and Affleck are co-parenting with their former spouses only throws more complication into the mix. Even so, the newlyweds seem to be making it work, but their kids are definitely keeping them busy. As her first husband pointed out, Lopez has certainly been around the block a few times when it comes to dating. She has been engaged a total of six times, counting her two engagements with Ben Affleck. While she's also said yes to Noah, Chris Judd, Mark Anthony, and Rodriguez, her wedding to Affleck in 2022 was only the fourth time she's walked down the aisle. She reflected about her romantic history in a short documentary posted to her YouTube channel. Uh, I was very young the first two times I tried to get married. I would say you tried to get married. <laughs> Lopez went on to say that living the life of a celebrity often felt a lot lonelier than it looked, and that she used to think that marrying someone would act as a permanent solution to her feelings of isolation. Now more wizened than she was back then, she concluded the reflection by acknowledging life does not work that way. It seems as though each time Lopez got engaged, she really felt that she found her person. She always spoke so highly of the men in her life and seemed to be overjoyed to have a ring on her finger and a special someone to come home to. All this insight begs the question, is Lopez a serial dater because she was never with the right person, or because she just gets bored easily. Only time will tell if Affleck will turn the tide for her love life or become the pop star's next romantic casualty. Perhaps the easiest sign that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's marriage may not last is that they're famous. There are a number of different reasons that celebrity relationships don't stand the test of time, and the statistics for a successful Hollywood marriage aren't great. Even couples that we thought would be together forever have broken the hearts of fans by separating. Given this knowledge, some might say it's safe to assume that Affleck and Lopez won't have staying power. There's every possibility that they could stay married for a decade or more, but going by numbers alone, it's unlikely they're in it for the endgame. Discussing celebrity relationships with glamour, naughty gossip editor-in-chief Rob Shooter succinctly observed, "...actors are used to extremes, success and failures. For this reason, in addition to big egos demanding work schedules and lots of traveling for projects, there's a lot working against cinematic marriages. And due to their shared history, there is even more pressure on Affleck and Lopez to work out than the average Hollywood couple." As divorce lawyer Patrick Sexton told Time, "...there's an appeal of both familiarity and the unknown." when you get back together with an ex, but that comfort rarely manifests into a long-standing relationship. Another possible strain on Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's marriage is the latter's sobriety. Affleck has struggled with alcoholism for years and has been to rehab several times. While he is determined to do his best to keep himself in check, he's fallen off the wagon here and there, which is certainly something that could affect his relationship with Lopez. Speaking about Ben's relationship with alcohol to people, a friend explained, "...sobriety is difficult and elusive for everyone struggling with addiction. Ben has acknowledged he's going to slip up from time to time. It was never as if this was simply behind him." Interestingly, Lopez recently launched a line of alcoholic beverages despite her husband's sobriety. In April 2023, she posted a promotional video for her drink brand, Delola, across her social media. I just wanted to create something better, better tasting, better ingredients, something I want to drink with my friends and family and that is Delola. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Lopez got a lot of heat for her decision to launch the new brand. And it wasn't just because of her husband. Many fans criticized Lopez for openly saying that she doesn't drink in years past and proceeding to put her name on an alcohol label anyway. No matter how you look at it, Lopez's decision to launch Delola may not have been her best move. 
There is one thing that has always been important to Jennifer Lopez, and that's her career. Although she may love having a guy by her side, she's constantly moving and creating, which can be exhausting for a partner who isn't used to moving at the same speed. In fact, there has been some chatter that Lopez's career will always be the biggest priority in her life perhaps second only to her children. What's more, there are rumors this fact is already affecting their marriage. As a source told OK Magazine, she had him fooled for a while, but Ben's realizing Jennifer is as career-driven as she ever was. They're back to the grind of work and parenting. Reality has set in. That's not to say Affleck didn't know exactly what he was getting into when he got back together with his old flame. Early into their relationship, he referred to Lopez as the hardest-working person he knows in the film industry and expressed how happy he is to see her get some critical recognition for her talent. Despite these praises, it's worth noting the pair weren't yet married when he said that. Will Lopez's dedication to her career cause the romance in her relationship to fizzle? Only time will tell.